All right, forever in a day movie theater instructions. First thing, the projector. You can either power on from the power button here where it says press power on, or you can utilize the remote control and press the on button from the remote. So the first thing we wanna do is power on the projector. All right, when that comes up, the next thing you're gonna do is power on the receiver, press power here. At this point, you wanna determine what you would like to do, be it watch cable TV, watch the Blu-ray player, <clears throat> and the cable TV service is coming from the stream box. So on the stream box, we have a Roku, and on that Roku, you can decide whether you wanna watch the Let me get the remote. Your Roku remote. Okay, you come over to Spectrum. You click on Spectrum. Spectrum automatically logs in. All right, check for subscription. And it's going to log in for your uh, Time Warner TV. But everyone seems to be... Uh... Okay. Here we have your volume now. You can turn it down or up. Okay. The next feature we have, if you want to do Netflix, you would back out of the, by hitting the home key, you will back out of the Time Warner app. You will come in here and you can access and log into Netflix, Disney, any one of these that you have your own subscriptions for. All right, so that takes care of that. The next option we have is the DVD player. So what you would do is you would turn the input knob here, cycle two, Blu-ray DVD. Give the projector a moment to sync up. Takes a few seconds. All right, and now we have our DVD player. Pretty straightforward. The DVD will not be hooked up to the internet. All right, you can go straight here to movies where you put a disc in and then you can press play. And this is the DVD player remote. Any streaming that you wanna be done will be done on the Roku back in the streaming function all right it always takes a few moments to readjust the resolution okay now that's your roku and that's all your streaming will be done there okay now troubleshooting if you do not have a pink Flat pink and blue flashing light here and if you do not have a pink and blue light flashing there you want to come to the back here and press that black reset button right there okay and that will start the sync back for the video with the pink and the blue flashing light okay we also will have a separate cable for any game or laptop that you want to connect. That will be a specific cable that will be on the um, side here for you to plug in your video game console, a laptop or any HDMI device. Okay, do not disconnect any wires on the back or you could be charged a service fee. All right, thank you.